26-year-old Jordan Hunt has been fired from his job as a hairstylist and also been charged criminally after video footage emerged showing him giving a roundhouse kick to a young female pro-life demonstrator at an event in Toronto not too long ago. Now his defense, well, he didn't mean to kick her, he was trying to kick her camera as though property damage is somehow a defense for what is an act of violence without any equivocation whatsoever. He is your run-of-the-mill leftist, the radical kind that believes it's appropriate not just to castigate people for believing different things than you, but to actually believe that assault is a legitimate remedy for disagreement on a contentious subject like abortion. And this is actually an issue I've written about very recently, the war on pro-life women, where all of these self-proclaimed women's rights activists and feminists believe that they're so good at standing up for women that they're going to attack women that disagree with them. This is basically the dichotomy they've created here, is that yes, they're pro-women, unless you're a pro-life woman, then, well, all bets are off. The fascinating thing is that while most people have condemned the violence and said even if they agree with the pro-choice position, they don't think it's appropriate to beat up pro-lifers, how noble of them. There have actually been a number of people that have defended him, or at the very least that will not criticize him, because they believe in what it was that he was standing up for. One example is prominent left-wing tweeter Nora Lorito, who basically says, well, because pro-life women are, are wanting to do things that are far worse, this is okay. This is actually right out of the Antifa playbook, where Mark Bray wrote about this, an Antifa sympathizing professor, that, well, you know what, violence is appropriate because you're resisting fascism. And, well, if you're resisting fascism, then why wouldn't you be violent? But these are the logical pretzels into which the left have managed to twist themselves, and the abortion issue is perhaps one of the most notable. It was just a couple of weeks ago that a video was released by a woman from University of Windsor who revealed that after being subjected to rape threats, she went to her school's women's center and they wouldn't support her because she was a pro-life woman. The war on women apparently is only of concern to the left when those women are pro-choice. For the True North Initiative, I'm Andrew Lawton.